Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video and to a brand new episode of Grand Arena 3v3. This is round two of week one. Unfortunately in round one I did lose but if you haven't seen that already I'll leave a link to that in the top right hand corner. But in this round my opponent is Jek Tono Tazzle and they are from the guild in Causal Patrol. Uh, obviously Core Patrol's casual guild I think uh, unless that's just the trolley name that some random guild made up but I th do think it is actually Core Patrol. But they have 12.2 million GP, so a lot more GP than me, almost 1 million GP more, which at this high of a level in GP is actually a massive difference compared to down in the lower ranks. And you're about to see something slightly odd from their defense, not something I was expecting to see with such a massive GP account. But without further ado, obviously, if you do enjoy this, a like comment is always much appreciated. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so everything looks relatively normal on the board, as you can see at the moment. We do have some Galactic Legends. We didn't actually have any in the first round, but things are about to get really weird and something that I wasn't expecting at this sort of level. But these teams don't have any data bonds on them. Um, I don't think my opponent has touched their defenses since the last set expired. I don't know whether they're probably on holiday or just not bothering with this week, but we only have one data cron here. We don't even have uh, Tara Malakos on defense. Uh, we obviously have Cody Cron there. And then in the North Zone, we do have a Quagron Jin team with the Quagron Jin Cron, but all the other four teams in that North Zone uh, don't have any data crons either. So I'll show you that, that zone later once we get to the back wall, but I think we'll probably start on this one here. Not going to mess around with these Galactic Legends, just use some normal counters, and then we might just try some different things out against the other teams that don't have some data crons to have a bit of fun, hopefully. So first off, use jmk versus jabba i think okay so jmk versus jabba very quickly show the day cron i'm taking it's just my ezra cron lots of extra damage boost on the stats and a bit of survivability from taking reduced damage on the level six um, and i am taking general kenobi over mace which i know is normally preferred with this just because i want to actually use mace with general luke versus malgus in the north zone Uh, do I get rid of him or do I wait? I'm going to wait for half ult and kill Boosh with that, I think. Yeah, on, on JMK's finals, it's not on Cat. <laughs> okay, there's half ult. And goodbye, Boosh. And then we can put this on full auto, I believe. Because I don't think they'll get ultimate, and we just obviously got to get through a chunky Relic 9 Kassantan. Uh, probably fast forward this bit, I reckon. Oh, we need to kill Jabba before he kills me. No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we're gonna talk probably gonna time out killing this Crescenta now, aren't we? This this team doesn't have a day crown on it. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. I, I cannot believe we lost Cat in that. There's that R9 Cassandra is just an absolute beast. Just tanks so much, even with like 100 or 200 percent armor pad and a bit of extra offense or whatever I had on that day. Chrono is uh, pretty nuts. It's just fights like those. That last one where they obviously cost me in the first round. I really don't want it to cost me in the second round either. Uh, we're actually faster than LB. That's surprising. Let's stun Thrawn then. Get rid of that. Those buffs off Maul. Just going to give the two stacks to Ezekiel. I don't think we'll get to three. I'd be very surprised if we did get to three. All right, let's do a swipe then. Oh, we would have got it, but I don't think we're taking another turn. Nice stumble. I'll just very quickly show the deck when I'm taking and take my Seer Jinder Kron, which is with the nice buffs on the basic. And we do get repost on the level six. Not a remake's any difference to this fight whatsoever. I just wanted that extra buffs on a basic would be quite nice. My opponent has very good mods. <laughs> Obviously very high relics as well, being 12 million GP. So even without Datacrons, they're doing perfectly fine without them. So that's how good my opponent roster is. And maybe how rubbish mine is. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill him. We get all ba uh, some banners back at least. Right, we're going to mini ult here. Or like two thirds ult. Oh, okay. And he's dead for if you won that banner win. Okay, so for this Cody team with Captain Rex and a Wrecker with the Cody Cron, I'm actually going to be taking Iden with Death Trooper and Range. Apparently, this is a very good counter against this team, uh, spe specifically this team lineup as well. And the Datacron doesn't look too scary off. We don't have the level 9 for Rex, which is great for us. Because uh, I don't think Cody should take that many turns under his own leadership. They do have a bit of extra crit damage and stuff, which is quite nice. We do have to be careful of that. Um, but I'm taking a level 9 Chrome myself, which was for C uh, Colonel Stark. And we get some nice stats of that. Obviously, some buffs on a basic and then some extra buffs just in case we did use a basic uh, on the level 6, which I'm... I need to change this datacron if I can. So let's see how we get on with this. So Rex is obviously very fast. So I'm going to have to go after him first. Hopefully you land a stun. Which we do get. That's great. Right now, let's keep him stunned. I'm actually going to basic here, obviously, because I think Rex might. Oh, okay. And do what I thought he was going to do. Never mind. That's what I was expecting to do last. Go. So he got his taunt, but he didn't do it. Right now we can stun him though. <laughs> right, death mark. Get some protection back for banners, and then we can finish hopefully for fifty-seven. Which we do get. That's great. Now for Genite Revan versus... Okay. Did I just die? I think I just died. My Grandma Sierra just died. Well, I did not calculate the speeds properly. Not that I even checked, I don't think. The mods. Uh, but this is Datacron I'm taking. I'm just taking a Wookiee Cron. I don't actually have any Foresight ones for Jedi available to use. So I'm just going with some extra offense stats and things. Uh, reduce your turn meter maybe no got resisted
We're about to get four banners from this, I'm hoping. What did I have to jinx it? Is he, he's not even going to get four health banners, is he? I hope he does. Yeah, we do get it. Okay, we lost one banner. That's unfortunate. And last but not least, we're taking the Bad Batch crew versus uh, this Seer team. So, get rid of all those buffs. Not going to get the days because of uh, the Omicron. Let's get you under stealth. Then we'll actually pass the turn back to Echo. Use the special. And we can strip the buffs again. Got that annoying sound bug. I have to restart the game after this. Um, keep going after Seer. If we can kill her, we do. That's great. Now let's go for a basic on Cal. Double tap. The, the target lock. Then we can kill Cal. No. Got a stun. That's great. Try and stop Cal taking a turn. <laughs> Never mind. Double tap basic. Oh, come on. Okay, just all out a little bit. That's fine. Now we can kill Cal with the expose. There we go. Just gotta make sure we keep buff, uh, buff immunity and healing immunity on to crew and make things a bit easier for us to kill him. My nice stun. I'm just gonna basic here, get some defense up, get some true damage out there, but I don't think we'll even get to text turn. Oh, we might do actually. Here we go. Away 57. Now we can see what's on the back wall. We're gonna have to deal with the sound for a bit while we just see what we have to face. Let's have a look and see. I'll probably mute the sound of the game at this point because it's really annoying. And we don't have any more Galactic Legends by the looks of things. And no more Datacrons, okay. So this should be relatively straightforward, I hope. So I'll restart the game very quickly and then we'll jump straight into these walls. Just going to very quickly show you what we have in the north zone as well. See what we have there. Also, the only data on the, on the board that we have left is this Cognitive team. So we'll probably start off with that first and get that out of the way, I reckon. Okay, Gemma versus Qualcomm, but this time we're just going to two-man it because I don't think we actually need anyone else. For a third person. Could be slightly better banners this way as well, I'm hoping. Actually, it might be the same because we don't have actually allowed them to actually take more turns this time. Uh, but this is the deck one they had, so they had the very nice offense boost from the level 6 and obviously the stats as well. Then I'm just taking a Quagmagen Cron myself. Extra offense boost as well, but reduced damage for more than 50% per meter. But we didn't seem to have that at all. Oh. And we finished for a 56. Yikes. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> I think had he just died there, I would have cried. They normally go after Mace. It seems to be really weird that they're going after General Luke. That's obviously the second round in a row that they've done that. Normally they always leap on Mace. Um, they're not for some reason. I'll very quickly show the deck one I have. 
it's the one I, I believe I took in the last round. Obviously, extra offense and things uh, to help out a little bit. All right. Two hundred nine K. Wow. Kind of a tanky uh, Sith Marauder there. Right, basic. Oh, wow. We're chunking through him quite a lot, actually. Full banners, please. There we go. But that was so close at the beginning. I can't believe how close that actually got. So apparently, LV can just solo this Star Raven team. Uh, even though we don't have any data one to contend with. I'm just taking a very basic level 3 to try and show a realistic counter if you, anyone wants to try this. Uh, so we're going to open up with the AOE. Buff immunity, that's great. We're not getting any of those buffs though from that level 3, so because of the shop. And the buff immunity as well. How did he not die? Or she not die even? Didn't want the shock on me so I could hit heal. Heal up again. Get the buffs up. And we'll daze. Heal up again. Okay, be annoying. It's fine, I didn't want to heal up anyway. Right, heal up now. Still not enough. Oh, was that full health? Oh, it was. Nice. 59 banners. Yeah, I'll take that. Very good. Okay, so Hux versus this Kira Hondo team with Nest. You see, the really good thing with Hux speed, like it is with Afro, is it stops the Tomi again from Hondo's Omi. So he actually doesn't start, which is nice. Uh, they'd have the icon, of course, but I'm taking one that I believe I took last round as well with my first order. Just obviously, that extra 100% crit damage is really nice. I'm really hoping we can just delete Hondo here. Yes, okay. Um, let's actually give the turn to first or type pilot. Let's see if what he can do. 74k, not bad. But we did lose the fortune while our protection balance. So That's slightly annoying from that nest AOE. Okay, something slightly different. I'm actually taking Sana, Lead, Han, and Chewie versus Sorty. This is the deck I'm taking. It's a Wookiee Cron. Uh, reduced damage. I was thinking of taking the stun one, but I wanted the extra offense stats that I didn't actually have on the other deck I wanted to take. So. Um, who should we go for first? We just kill BB-8. Oh, okay. Didn't actually kill him, but... Okay, those spare parts gone. Stun, that's not good. Okay, 
Uh, there's the stun. Okay, that didn't actually do what I wanted it to do. This might not work because I don't think I actually read the counter thing properly. You didn't see anything. Oh, okay. Well, that also did quite a bit of damage, so. so. Can we just get rid of Sorty right now? Almost. Why is blue stacks lagging? Well, it feels like it's lagging. Don't you, you. <laughs> Goodbye, T3. You boosted damage. You're not doing that anymore. Let's go for it again. Come on, Boba. Boom. Very nice. <laughs> I should have done that first, but he would have won with BB-8 there as well, maybe. I don't know. Wampa's got no home advantage today. I believe I dropped the fight there. So long on that sorty. I think I just got on the trade for T3 that we might have been okay, but I still think we would have got stuck behind the R8 sortie. There's just no way to possibly dispel that uh, action up they were getting. Got no buff immunity or anything like that. And I was definitely the wrong lead choice. I should have thought about that. Okay, you don't need to roar. Just, just punch B1 in the face. No. Basic. There we go. Might actually have a protection up thing available, maybe. If that gets us 50. No, it doesn't. Okay, 58. That's fine, though. Let's see. Should be able to solo this uh, team. But will it work? I will tell. This is the date card I'm taking. I'll very quickly show you that. Just extra defense, protection, and protection up the start. That's fine. Need to get the ultimate. When we eventually do get there, I've got to relink Kara and actually link up Saw now. Because Kyle should die to the AE that we do when we hit ultimate. go and this should be game over are you kidding me how does he survive that there we go for 58 okay let's get rid of sith trooper maybe 
This is the Dekron I'm taking. I'm actually taking eighth brother as a third as well. Just try mixing things up a little bit. Then we ha don't have a Dekron to go up against. It's fine. Just cleanse and give everyone death marks history, but that was great. Uh, just clear the foresight. Well, I got to steal my banner. God damn it. 53. Going here with Sith Empire versus this Tuscan team. Not taking a Datacron. Because they don't have one. And I didn't feel like it was necessary for banners. Which, by the look of things, it doesn't look like it is going to be a problem. There we go. Easy done for a 57. One more team to go, and then we just got ships to deal with. Don't ask me what this team is, because I don't have a clue. <laughs> uh, just taking it a Starkler team, but just mix it up a little bit. Still got the... I, still, I think I believe I have the contract in play here. Or contract, whatever it's called. Omicron. <laughs> uh, it's funny. There we go. We're fifty four. In case my banner's just using something a bit different. Not that anyone should actually use that team. That's not a very good split up for uh, a star color team there at all. Okay, so at the break, we're not doing actually that great, to be honest. Um, I should not have dropped a fight <laughs> on that sorty team. Just wasn't thinking properly. Could have taken a lot of good counters. CLS, Chupio, C3, for example, would have got me through. But just wanted to try and mix things up a little bit. Try something different out. See whether Sanahan and Chewie could work obviously not um i saw dash han and chewy could work but then obviously that is because they do have the double uh dispel which is going to be needed to actually make sure you get through sorty but we'll even we learn obviously don't use that if you're planning on using it but we do have some counters to do okay let's start off with thrawn versus leviathan we do have at the bottom as well all right Let's go. We got the bomb, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on with blue stacks. It just feels really laggy. Not as many stacks of formation there, so unfortunate. But probably not going to kill. This fight here. No. Oh, crap. Why is it lagging or doing this glitchy stuff? I'm actually just going to bring this in just for the buff dispel. Even though it's going to die. Ooh, let's get rid of... Do I heal up Scythe? I feel like I need to heal up Scythe. Let's heal up Scythe. I don't think Tidefen actually needed that. Okay, well they just completely vanished off the board.
probably should just basic there. Oh, I'm probably going to have to clean this up because I thought I just did something really stupid. And my tie defender is about to die. No, no, no. Oh, you got shock. Why? Oh, you dodged. But I mean, that doesn't do anything. I'm just going to lose to a lone. Uh, thingy on top. Does this heal protection as well? This, oh, but I can't do... Let's just spell that then. Okay, well, I have to two-shot it. Okay, so I'm opting for a profanity mirror. Because honestly, I don't have a clue how to play this. Uh, this isn't something I don't remember ever doing. Uh, so I should go for that first. Might have been really stupid, but we'll find out. I wanted it for the speed up, but... Uh, let's call in Outrider. Oh, come on. Now we can do that. There goes Y Wing. I'm probably gonna lose ours. <laughs> now, apparently, Bomber was in this uh, squad, well, the fleet lineup that I was looking at on .gg. I'm guessing it is for this burning. Get rid of all those buffs with High Bomber. That should do any damage. We should have ultimate soon. If it doesn't die before that. Okay, never mind. That should be 74. Okay, great. That's pretty good. Couldn't remember how many stacks set ship starts off with, so bringing in a full fleet. No, oh, it's only 10. Okay. Why are you lagging? I think I just won. All right. Let's hope Blue Stacks doesn't crash. Uh, that battle did actually luckily go through versus the uh, Leviathan at the end there with Radus. So just got to deal with this last fleet. And then hopefully we... Well, I'm not going to get a decent score, but... Um, I don't reckon my opponent is probably going to attack. 
to. Maybe they. I mean, they might do, but I'm gonna take a full bounty hunter fleet in. But considering I lost the first round, this is the second round, and they would have lost as well. I'm not too sure what's gonna happen from my opponent's perspective, whether they just do one fight and then call it quits, or whether they go for a full clear or whatever. But obviously, I've left the board wide open to actually win this fight because I am a noob and made some stupid mistakes. All right, let's go straight for Sunfac. I did clear the cash and hopefully that might improve the performance of blue stacks, but I don't know if it will. From how it's performing at the moment, I'm going to say no. Oh, I can't even just do a basic on Hyena then. In. Call in save one. Okay. Laggiest ultimate ever. Sixty-nine to finish. Okay. Uh, Score-wise, probably going to be 20, 2020 something. I reckon maybe. Yeah, twenty twenty-four. Okay, pretty spot on there with my guess. Um, that was just assuming that I dropped. 40 banners on fights. Yeah, and obviously I was better in terms of the other teams around the board. But that is going to be it for now. I um, don't know why Blue Stacks is lagging so much today. It's really annoying me. Um, but hopefully we can get that fixed for the last round, which will also be going to be on a stream. So we'll leave this here and we'll come back to this later on once my opponent has done their attacks to how this round ends. So I shall see you in a bit. Okay, so I am back later, as you can see, and like I guessed, my opponent isn't into Grand Arena this week and just did the world fight for their second place crystals and just call it quits. Uh, kind of a shame, really. Obviously, I do like my opponent normally to try and get a full clear if they can, just so I can see what my defenses did at the end of the week. But it's what it is. Obviously, some people don't like 3v3 or just are busy this week. So it is what it is, and we can move in to the last round and hopefully get another win there, which would be really good to start off this new meta season of 3v3. But that's going to be it for now. Obviously, I'm hoping I can fix the blue stack issues that I'm having with the game at the moment to actually do a stream tomorrow or day, I should say, as it's going to be uploading on a Sunday. Um, but we shall see. But anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, a like and comment is always much appreciated. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I shall catch you in the next one.